friends across miles. Dana slumped down on the couch and sighed. What's wrong, little sis? Megan asked, her sitting down beside Dana. I'm bored, Dana muttered. Just because Alana moved across the country doesn't mean there's nothing to do. You have plenty of other friends. Why don't you call one of them? I always spent Saturdays with Alana. It wouldn't feel right hanging out with someone else. Do you think Alana is sitting on her couch doing nothing because you're not with her, Megan asked. I don't know. Let me ask her. Dana reached for the laptop on the coffee table. She set up the video chat and smiled. Alana's online. She clicked the button to connect with Alana. Hi, Dana, Alana said once her face popped on the screen. Hi, Megan wants to know if you're bored like I am. Totally, Alana said. I miss you. I miss you too, Dana said, the smile leaving her face. Okay, you too, Megan said. You can't mope around just because you don't live two houses apart anymore. Why don't you both go out and have fun? In fact, why don't you see how much you can do in one day and then you can chat tonight and tell each other all about it? Dana and Alana both shrugged. Okay. Dana and Megan headed out for a day of fun, and by 7 o'clock, Dana couldn't wait to tell Alana about her day. She logged back onto the video chat. Hey, Alana. Hey, I actually had a pretty fun day. Me too. What did you do, Alana asked. First, I biked to the lake. I biked to the beach, Alana said. Then I had a picnic at the park with Megan. Alana laughed. I had a picnic with Janelle. Don't tell me you went to the movies after that, Dana said. Okay, I won't, but the popcorn was really salty just the way you like it. Mine, too, shouted Dana. Everything's okay in here, Megan asked, walking in the room. Yeah, but listen to this. Alana and I did all the same things today. I'm not surprised. You two have been hanging out together since you were in diapers. I knew you would manage to stay best friends no matter how many miles are between you. Dana looked at Alana and smiled. Yeah, between video chatting and visiting during school breaks, we'll stay best friends forever. Question 1. Why do, why was Dana bored? A. She was homesick. B. Her best friend moved out of town. C. It was a rainy day and she couldn't go outside. D. Her family moved to a new town. Question 2. Who is Megan? A. Dana's best friend. B. Dana's cousin. C. Dana's older sister or D. Dana's younger sister. 3. What surprised Dana when she spoke with Alana on Saturday night? Question 4. Circle the activities that both Dana and Alana did not do on Saturday. Ride a bike. Go to the mall. Have a picnic. Go to the movies. Watch a movie on TV. Play video games. Question 5. What lesson did Dana learn at the end of the story? Match each vocabulary word on the left with the definition on the right. Our words are slumped, sighed, muttered, manage, chat, mope, shrugged. A. Having control over something. B. To talk with someone in a casual way. C. Raised and lowered your shoulders, showing that you did not know or care about something. D. Behave in a way that shows others unhappiness or sadness. E. To sit or lean in a bent over position. F. Speak quietly so that it is hard for other people to hear. G. Let in and out a long, loud breath to show boredom or disappointment. 